Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dustmos, and today I'm here with the Wash V2 Tap Tempo version from Hungry Robot. So today in this Signal Colors Primer video, we're taking a look at the Wash, which is a washed out ambient style delay meets reverb um, mesh mishmash into one box. And um, it's really cool, really brings a lot of that kind of atmosphere um, together in one tidy little package. The Wash is all about playing with time, delay, um, kind of a reverb blend sort of situation. Um, this big Wash control here kind of brings all that together. And it's cool, you've got uh, delay time or number of repeats, um, you got the mix for that, a sort of resonance control, a ripple effect, um, which plays with the, the delay and reverb a bit, um, overall time knob, and the wash control, which is really just like a mix or a blend. So today I've paired it up with the Syntax. Um, I'm coming out of one channel, left channel, right into the wash pedal, out mono, into the TX6 from TNA Engineering, and then out to my camera. As always, I like to start with my clean sounds um, so you get an idea of where we're starting from and uh, I'll evolve it maybe a little bit as I play and we check out the wash. So that pattern sounds like this. Pretty simple, leaving a lot of room to hear the repeats and the reverb and the wash. I will eventually bring in a kick and the snare roll. But as we know, kicks are pretty rough in a delay. So I'll probably use that sparingly, but we'll see how it goes. But to start, we're gonna start here. All right, we'll go ahead and engage the wash. So you can hear, turn that down. You really just hear a little bit of a, kind of like a foundational delay. But that's really the foundation for the reverb. So we actually mix in the delay proper. a bit more let me turn up the repeats so as you hear when i turned down the ripple it kind of undiffused the um sort of reverb characteristics that it was morphing the delay into And really what this is kind of doing is like, it's like a regen almost where it's, I think it's like, like looping back into itself to create those a little bit more washed out sounds. But then of course you up it by upping the wash knob. Nearly in the reverb. Gonna keep it on those stabs. Turn it up a little bit. So the delay mix up, you really hear those coming back. Bypassed, obviously. Very sparse little stabs there. Some resonance going. So 
you hear it hit that kind of wall where it was a bit too much for it to handle. Being a line level signal, um, you can get that with a lot of pedals, but I think it's totally manageable with this one. You can still get this to feedback if you lean into the ripple enough. Let's bring back the uh, cymbal sound. hear the delay coming back you really on the snare how filtered it is it's pretty cool I'm taking a risk here we're gonna adjust the uh, time with the tap tempo here and then the clap we'll go for the kick and see how it goes not too bad some random notes.
I'm gonna bring some other pieces back. All of it, actually. Let's go for it. subtle. And there we go. That is the wash from Hungry Robot. Um, really cool pedal. Been around for a number of years now. I actually wanted to try it out a long time ago and just never really got my hands on one until obviously recently. But I really like it. It's a lot of fun. I think um, it's cool with that really smeared delay um, morphing into a reverb and having all the controls to kind of dial it in. Tap tempo if you want to get it to either jump around pitch or obviously the um, speed of those repeats. Um, really cool, really handy to have um, on hand. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.